Hey there, this is Animation. In this video, we are going to learn how to draw a straight line with a brush in Photoshop. Didn't sound fancy? Well, let me rephrase that. How to draw a straight line with any brush in Photoshop. And when I say any, I do mean any. It can be the clone stamp tool, the spot healing brush tool, the healing brush tool, the eraser tool, or any tool that functions like a brush, we can draw a straight line with it. And this might not sound so cool, but you would be blown away by the amount of things that you can do with it. And it does increase your workflow. It does make your workflow so much more faster and so much more better easier and perfect and symmetrical and let's get started. <laughs> So here we are in Photoshop and the first example is quite simple. Here we are going to learn how you actually would use this tool. This is the basics and this is essential. So first of all, let's select a brush tool, the normal brush tool and let's select a color. Suppose I want to paint with this color and I've created a new layer for the brush to paint in. Now if I click here, it gives me a dot. Now if I want to make a straight line, what do you usually do? Most of the people just drag with their mouse or tablet if you're using a tablet. Now the thing is to create a perfect straight line. All you need to do, watch this. Click once, okay? Press and hold shift, right? Move your mouse to the point where you want your line to end. Shift is still held, okay? Click again. Boom. Isn't that amazing? You can do this is so amazing. Now, another tip. If I click once and if I press and hold my shift key, I click once more, it does join. But if your finger is not off shift and if you are still holding shift and you click once more, it just keeps the continuation on. Now, let me show you another stuff to make it more clear to you. It's all about connecting the dots as Mr. Steve Jobs said. So when you're clicking, it's nothing but dots. But as soon as you press and hold the shift key, all the dots are connected. Leave the shift key, dots. Holding the shift key, connected. Leave the shift key, dots. Holding the shift key, connected. It's that simple. So let's move on to our next example. And in this example, let me show you some practical stuff where you might use it. Okay, so in this example, what's the most distracting element in this? The pose, right? So what if you want to remove the pose? So first off, let's uh, unlock the background layer. Unlocked. Now, yes, if you didn't catch to unlock, just press the lock key and it just unlocks it. Now to get rid of the pose, what do you usually do? You select the spot healing brush tool and you just paint over the poles, right? And it wasn't kind of accurate. Let me tell you something, if you do it this way, it's going to be a lot of trouble for you. So all you need to do, click once, okay? And press and hold shift, click again. Everything gone in one swipe. Look how beautiful it is now. Now you can do the same with this, click once, press and hold shift, Click again, gone. Amazing, the same uh, theory you can apply to the cables. You can just keep clicking and it will go away one by one. So this is one of the methods, that, now I'm not gonna bore you with clearing all that stuff, you can do that. This is a stock photo, you can download it. I'll, I'll put the links in the description if you want, but you won't, okay? So let's move on to our next example. This is the photo that I clicked recently and I had to submit this photo. When I exported this photo, I was just about to submit this for my assignment. I found out that this line is very distracting, this line. So how do you get rid of this? Either you paint over this with the spot healing brush tool or what do you do? You just click once, press and hold shift, click again, click again, click again, click again, click again, click again. How much time did it take? Five seconds, 10 seconds, not more than that. Isn't that amazing? If it's not amazing, give me a dislike, but it, if it is amazing, give me a like, I deserve that. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So this is the last one. Have you ever heard of a double gradient tool? Has there ever been a tool to give you double gradients? 
No, right? But you can do this using this brush. So in this example, I was just working on this composite. As you can see, I had to give the gradient from the right side and one layer for, for, for the gradient from the left side. I had to do double work, but you can do that with just one layer on. Let's delete one of the layers and let's delete the layer mask, okay? Now, this layer is completely covering the background. I don't want this layer to show up on this man's face. So what did I do previously? Have gradients, two, two layers for two different gradients from two different sides. For the left side one layer, for the right side one layer. Now, what I can do, I can do that with a brush, with the same technique. So let's create a mask, okay? Take the brush, make the brush a little bit bigger. Okay, to make the brush bigger or smaller, the trick is press and hold Alter option and then press and hold the right mouse button to the right, drag it to the right to make it bigger, drag it to the left to make it smaller, drag it upwards to make it softer, drag it downwards to make it harder. So we would make it a little bit uh, bigger, softer, and we would click once here with the black and the mask selected, press and hold Shift, we would click again does give me a gradient. I think I should make my brush a little bit bigger to give a smoother gradient and the brush a little bit softer. Click once and click again. Does give me a very smooth gradient. Does look much better with the layer mask. As you can see, if I switch off the layer mask, the background covers whole of his face, which is kind of distracting. If I turn it on, it does look much more pleasant to the eyes. So. One more quick tip here. If you want to turn on and off your layer mask, all you need to do, press and hold shift and click it once to just turn it off. Click it once again, press and hold shift, click it once again to turn it on. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hope this video helped you. And if it did, make sure to give us a thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel for more videos like this in future. This is Anmish Tindal signing off and I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. Broke, but, 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 but,